Hi and welcome to another of my creative videos. For this project I will paint a calavera, or what is commonly called a sugar skull. Now for the uninitiated, sugar skulls are meaningful art pieces that are part of Dia de los Muertos, which has origins in Mexico and is an annual national celebration. This observance seeks to honor the souls of friends and family who have passed on and to have reverence for the time those special people have had with us and the stories they've left behind. As such, the concept is inclusive in nature to all people. Now, since this is an art video, I won't be doing a deep dive on the subject. Dia de los Muertos is a richly cultural phenomenon that deserves genuine study. I will include links below that you could review if you're so inclined. All right, now let's pivot onto the sugar skull. First off, please note that the skull is not a food product. It is not made out of sugar. This particular skull was discovered by me at Target in the bargain bin. This simple discovery put me on a learning journey, much less an art project. I learned a lot about Dia de los Muertos. That was the context for me painting the design. Initially, I didn't know how to go about painting a skull. So my first instinct was to look at existing designs I look at how they were painted, look at particular details, analyze that, and try to adopt and recreate some of the details that I liked in other designs. I not only looked at sugar skulls, but I also looked at alebrije because they are particularly vibrant. They have a lot of detail. There's a lot going on, and I wanted to kind of bring that a little bit as well those styles into the skull that I'm painting. Now I have a loose plan. Here it says plan, but a loose plan is still a plan. And what I wanted to do at first is concentrate on the face, starting with the eyes. And I was thinking, okay, you know what I'll do is I'll, I'll move up towards the forehead, and then I'll go back down towards the chin. And then I'll, I'll work on the crown a little bit. And at at that point, then I'll wrap around the sides of the skull while trying to keep uh, symmetry so it's even on both sides or the same on both sides. Now that isn't uh, you know, necessary, but I, I wanted to do that anyway because you know, I, I figure that that would be a standard kind of thing you would expect, you know, symmetry. Okay, so here we are. We're going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and paint in the eyes because the eyes you know, to me, uh, on, on any uh, living uh, thing, the eyes tend to anchor, you know, what that, what that being is, whether it's an animal, whether it's, uh, you know, a human being or, 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 or any other living form. You tend to look for the eyes, the windows to the soul. So I don't know. I, I mean, this is just my rationale. I'm going to start with the eyes. I'm going to paint in the... Uh, the, the pupils blue at first. I'll surround them with the uh, marigolds. Uh, you know, after that, I, I'm going to paint the uh, the eyebrows. I had this 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 idea that the detail on the top of the head reminded me of a rosary, something like a rosary. So I I kind of tried to mimic. Um, you know, or, or make a design like that. Okay, so at some point during the process, I realized that I couldn't keep hanging on to the skull. So I decided to go to Ben Franklin Crafts. <laughs> Shout out to Ben Franklin. What's up? And pick up some foam pieces that I thought I could fashion a stand out of. So you will see here that the skull is actually painted. Wow. You know, in my view, like 90% complete. Basically what I want to do is mount the skull on the stand that I made out of foam. And after I do that, I'm going to coat it with Mod Podge. What that's going to do, it's going to seal in the paint. Thank you. 
Now, for whatever reason, I felt that there was still something missing, uh, you know, on the skull, um, the sugar skull. I, I felt it could use a, a little bit more um, uh, decoration. So I thought that it would be good to put, um, I, I, I don't think they're called rhinestones, but they are like um, faux uh, gems. And uh, I also wanted a little bit more sparkle or shine. So um, incidentally, I went back to Target and I picked up uh, different types of glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and put the glitter and the, um, the faux jewels on uh, at certain places that complement the design. There we go. So this is what I'm looking for. I think the faux jewels in the eyes really works. It uh, really, you know, puts a focus on the pupils or the irises, I guess you could say, where the marigolds are. And I put some faux jewels around the crown of the head. There's also some around the mustache. There's a dark glitter that's there. And same with the forehead. There's a pink kind of glitter that uh, has this iridescent quality, and I thought that worked out really well. Well, that concludes this art project. I really hope you liked it. Um, if you could, give me a like and subscribe, and I'll be happy to make more and share them with you. Thanks.